Alright, Secret Valley is gonna be game the map for game two between Soku and Hasuobs for ECL ESL ESL. Did I say ECL all, all the entire time last game? It was ESL 2010 June. This uh, match will be played in June. I don't even know what uh, I don't even know what to, uh, round of this is. I don't even because because this is so back in time. Um, I feel like I feel 2010 June 2010. What was I doing back then? Ready to work. Oh, you know what? I was in I was in uh, another state. Okay, that's right. Right? June 2010. Yeah, that's right. Wow. Uh, I'm old. Holy shit. Anyway, game two, Secret Valley, f notoriously f uh, orc favored map. Let's see Ready what the un uh, let's see what Asu Hazu is gonna do. Is he gonna do the same tower rush? Because uh, Soku didn't really know how to handle that. Uh, at least I didn't think he knew because the spare tower uh, spare launcher was never built. The defensive towers uh, are way out of position. You don't build the towers right in front of your base. You build it behind your burrows, and oh, at least um, uh, behind your altar stuff. And he didn't really have any um, uh, demolishers, demolishers to push back the towers. So uh, let's see if he's going to do that this time. I don't know if Hazuab is going to go for the same exact same build, but, but the build order looks like the exact same build, build order from last game. I don't know if he's going to do the tower rush again, but uh, let's see. Uh, and the peon's gonna go scout. Meanwhile, the very standard time orc timing should have. Uh, uh, yeah, this peon's gonna be able to burrow. There we go. Not skipping anything. And here comes respected worker scouts. They're gonna say hi to each other. Oh, I got whacked by an axe. Oh, take that, Akali. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna scissor kick you back in the head. Okay, you know, well, you know what movie that's from. Anyway. Or we're gonna see a DK or a, 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 another Crypt Lord because uh, this map is so orc favored. I think Tower Rush might be a good idea. Oh, <laughs> is it gonna be a DK? All right. So let's see what the Akali is gonna do. Okay, Akali is gonna check out the camps instead of going going to orc main to scout. Here's the Voodoo Lounge. You're gonna be up. We're gonna see the orc is gonna probably. Uh, yeah. Or oh no. Well, okay. Orc is. I was gonna say go. Uh, sell the TP over at the yep, at the shop. Grab the circle ability and go creep those fountains. Yep, there we go. Go after this guy first, and this guy second, and then and then one of the blues doesn't matter. See, that's what exactly what he's doing. Because this guy drops the item right there. Let's see the dragon targeting the wrong guy. The dragon should target the hero. It's gonna be ring protection plus two. Uh, it's gonna be a pretty uh, nice 175, nice 75 gold for the orc player. DK is out. So, uh, also with the first fiend. Uh, where does that fiend go? Oh, oh, he didn't make a fiend because his uh, Zuggerod was delayed. What? No, he no. I'm sorry, he tacked. So he didn't make fiends because he, because he tacked. And now, I think the undead is gonna. What, what is he doing? Is he gonna try to hide his hero or what? What, what is he trying to? Do? Okay, the peons are gonna see it. I think the peons are gonna see. There we go. Peons are gonna see the DK. So he knows it's gonna be a tower rush. I don't think he knows. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna be a tower rush. Blade Master just finish off that camp here. Yep, and he should be on his way to well on his way to level two if he somehow manages to want to creep this camp. There we go. He's gonna go after the Ogre Maitre. DK is gonna come over here with, uh, with just four skeletons. Is he gonna snipe this or uh, overseer or is he gonna go after his no assassins because they do have medium armor. They take additional damage from the skeletons. I think the, yeah he's not what he's gonna do. Meanwhile, Orc, gonna Orc is going to try to creep his Playmaster to level 3. Meanwhile, not buying no health potions. Remember, the Orc has saved a lot of money, at least 200 gold from not, from not buying health potions. And he's going to turn around and sell these items as well. And let's see. Uh, because if you have low HP, you know, just throw it to one of the fountains. Uh, Undead is not, never going to go that far uh, off their base to creep. And here we go. Uh, uh, even if the DK finds your grounds We're at Fountain Health, just run them around. There's no way DK can chase, chase, waste, waste their time, chase that around. Just after I said it, you know, you don't have to buy health potions. He's gonna buy one health potion. I think he wants the grounds on the on the field instead of just chilling at the fountain, and just smoking their uh, cigar, whatever they smoke, whatever grounds smoke. And um, yep. Skeletons are gonna come over here and check if the Blade Master is creeping over here. Skeletons are gonna center all around the map, and DK should be, uh, yep, should be level two. I was gonna say. Uh, why is he level two? Wait a minute. Wait a second. What? He shouldn't be level two. What did he kill? Oh, I'm sorry. He, he is level two because he he crept crept this camp, and then killed a uh, killed a peon early on. So yeah, he has to be level two. And let's see the grounds are gonna. 
Uh, yeah, I, the skeleton's gonna ag aggravate the creeps, and the grounds are gonna be around to kill those uh, ground creeps of this camp here. DK comes in, and Blade Master hit level 3 after ground killed all the creeps here, and it's gonna be another ring production plus 2. DK is coming just to make sure that just to make sure he's at the right timing. Soku needs to get his peon back to work. I hope he does. Anyway, we're gonna keep an eye on this burrow. Meanwhile, the grounds. Oh, gargoyle! What? What? Oh god, this is a suicide. This is suicide. Oh my god, you have to deny that beast theory to uh, as as much as you can because the raiders are gonna co absolutely counter this. Gargoyles. Oh, okay. The Raiders is a death of gargoyles. There is no question. Even even if the even if the Raiders somehow don't do, don't do that, the uh, Troll Berserkers do it because they also have medium armor and uh, piercing damage. That uh, not also, but they 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 counter our gargoyles pretty uh, pretty uh, handily. Shade is gonna follow the Blade Master around. Meanwhile, the gargoyle is gonna try to pick up a grunt. I don't know what uh, Soko is gonna do. Ah, oh, coil. And he's gonna try to block the ground or what? Oh, the ground's gonna try to block the DK away. Meanwhile, the ground is gonna go home. Shadow Hunter is gonna do a hex. Ah, oh, too late. The ground's gonna get killed. Beast Jerry has to be go has to go up. Um, yep, that gargoyle is, is gonna be hexed and is gonna be saved. All right, is he gonna go tier three? There we go. And and then sold the oh, he sold the crypt. He he knew the two crypt gargoyle isn't gonna work versus the orc, so he sold his crypt and go back to the Snarler house, go in tier three. But I don't know what he's gonna do with his gargoyles. He had invested four m gargoyles, which is uh, what are they uh, like a uh, 280 or no? I'm sorry, 210 each. So they're pretty. Uh, well, this won't surprise me if this map was uh, twisted metals. If you do this on twisted metals, it won't surprise me a bit. Because the corner creeps are pretty easy, easily crafted by gargoyles, but the, uh, on on this map there is only two dragon creeps on the, on the entire map. We're One of them uh, doesn't matter. All right, where are we? Where we are, and the gargoyles are going to be the tech choice for uh, Hasu Ops. Hasu Ops is doing pretty well in StarCraft 2. I don't know if you guys follow StarCraft 2. He's been he's Protoss play is pretty amazing. Um, I had a discussion with the uh, people on Battle.net as, uh, as to why do you think attack. Warcraft 3 Pro switched to, switch to Starcraft 2. And you guys have to give me a reason. You guys can comment on why do you think the Starcraft 2, uh, Warcraft 3 Pros are, are uh, switching to Starcraft 2. You, you have to give We're me an answer. Uh, you're going to kill the dust appearance? Yep. And, and your answer cannot be money. You cannot say they, they're, they're pro gamers and the money is all in StarCraft 2, so that's why they're still switching. That's well established. Uh, I don't need you to tell me they, they're switching for money. I need you to tell me why else they're switching to StarCraft 2. <laughs> Two critical strikes, what? 100 and 108? That, that DK just got shafted. And now the DK man has to TP just because of those two critical strikes. Oh, block, block that DK and hex, hex the DK so you can block him faster and hex him, hex him. Oh, all right, never mind. All right, so tell me why Warcraft 3 Pro is switching to Starcraft 2, and uh, if you if if you have a really creative answer, I really like to hear it because We're I don't see any other reason. I in the boneyard. Ah. Oh, huh. Frostworms no normally never works on pros. That's why I'm a little, uh, just still a little puzzled. Be one, because they take so effing long to build one, and so much money to build one as well. Also, there's they just don't do as much damage as you you would think. Um, especially versus Shadow Hunter. The Shadow Hunter is just a hex it, and you can forget about it for for the next ten seconds, and then hex it again if you have the mana to do it, and the. Uh, I really don't know if the Frostworm is a good idea, but um, b because, uh, well, if you have managed to get two Frostworms out, and the, then the Orc is screwed, then they have to, th then you take the Magical right back to the Orc, ooh, Blade Master, oh, nicely done, there's dust, Blade Master is going to be dusted, and Soku is going to have to back off, but he did, he did a little creep jacking right there, so uh, pretty good win for him, and the Fire Riders are just not cost effective versus the Frostworms with our Frost Armor. Because the frost armor adds two, I think, at level one, and they spawn with one armor already. Uh, is he making a frost armor or what? Where is it at? Is he even making one? What? Huh? 
Research huh? complete. Am I, am I, oh, he doesn't have enough food. <laughs> I was gonna say. All right, so that's a big mistake by Hasuobs. He's he gonna lose a statue, or yep, he's gonna try, about to lose a statue. There's a frost armor. It has three armor. I'm sorry. So um, so the frost frost one's gonna have full armor with the with the um, with the frost armor. Oh oh, bad rider is gonna get killed. So this is gonna be a big air army from Soku. I'm sorry, Hasu Ops. Yeah, the big army from Hasu Ops. And we're going to see Bad Rider is going to start come out of the woodworks now for, just for this or orc player. Is he going to add on some uh, troll headhunters or is he going to just stick with Bad Rider as, to, as far as Dante Air goes? And we, here we go. Our dad is going to creep the 12 o'clock. And what do you get? He got a uh, Thundercat Medallion. Yes. Thunder! 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 Yeah, yeah. That's kind of silly. Anyway, nice use of the uh, positioning, uh, I should say, uh, with the uh, air, with the uh, goggles, just so just so they don't get picked off by those uh, bat riders. Because one bat rider is going to kill a goggle regardless. It doesn't matter how many armors you have on goggle, you cannot have enough armor on, on a goggle to deflect half the damage from the bat rider. Um, you see level two armor already. Research for the creature, cre creature carapace. Is that the name of the upgrade for? The yeah, I think it is. Cre creature carapace for the upgrade. Um, does it say here? No, it doesn't. Um, yeah, it, is, it does. Say, it does say here. Upgrade improved creature creature carapace level two. Yeah, so level two armor on the uh, creature already. So the fiends, the goggles, the frostworms, the um, you know the statue, the statues, the uh, destroyers all gonna benefit from that. And unholy armor benefits the uh, everybody else like the fools, the abominations. The, um, I don't. I don't. I think meat wagon. I don't think you can upgrade meat wagon armor to be honest. Oh, uh, Beetle Blade Master again, just got nuked right there. I don't think he wants to stick around anymore, but I think that needs to TP out of here. Orc army is right on his ass, and that needs to TP out of here. No, no! Uh, I TP too late! Down with one goggle. I would TP right there after seeing Blade Master isn't backing off. After Blade Master turns around, I would TP right there and then. Uh, because I know <laughs> what's coming up behind him. Um, anyway, Orc is going to research reinforce defense and tower up at the 3 or 9 o'clock and the shade is going to see it. So, and that player is going to have a clock on his head to start ticking. We're under attack! No, sorry about that. Oh god. <laughs> Thought it was going to puke. No, I'm not drunk. Just a... Uh, oh god. I just chugged like a full, a large pizza Our and six wings. I, I'm so full right now, it's not even funny. Now the tower is going to be cancelled and come to Blade Master. Why'd you go after DK? Why'd you do that? Yeah, go after the frost one right there. Dive! And here comes the Hex. Is he going to get it? Is he going to get the... Oh, no, he's not going to get it. Uh, Grunt? He's going to kill? Nope. It's a pretty good trade by the under, for the under player. He traded TP for cancel of three towers. <laughs> he's he's going to kill that Grunt. <laughs> the ground, the grounds are like I'm okay, guys. I, I'm I'm bleeding, but I'm okay. Uh, I must, I survived, and then the rest of the orc man, like, uh, um, no, we do not take wounded. <laughs> you you go to hell. You go to hell and you die. All right, two frost worms. This is exactly what I was talking about. Two frost worms. Uh, there's there's nothing orc can do. There's absolutely nothing orc can do about the two frost worms. And it's so rare that pros will allow the undead player, pro orc players will allow their pro undead player to get out two frost wounds without an expansion of their own. Yeah. And it looks like the Soku is going to try to expand. Where is his mini great hall, mini town hall, mini great hall, I'm sorry, yeah. Yeah, where is that? Does he even, did he even buy one? He hasn't buy one, bought one yet. The thing costs like 645 gold. So he uh, he's gonna have to save up for uh, for the next uh, maybe 30 seconds to, uh, if he wants to if Work he wants complete. to buy one. Work complete. Couple towers done. Is he gonna? And I think oh, the yeah. mini the mini great hall also costs some lumber. Oh, I don't remember yeah. how much wood the, it uh, cost. Every time I buy that thing, uh, I, it's really late game. So I stock up a lump, I stock up a uh, stockpile of so many wood already. So I really don't pay attention to how much wood it cost. But someone tell me how much a mini great hall cost in lumber. Uh, no, just dump on some more, more number on that. I think the Shadowhorn is going to grab one here. Uh, 600 gold. I think 600, 600 gold right there. Yep. 600 gold and a, a whole lot of lumber. I think 100 lumber or something. Here's the mini, a mini great hall. It's a tiny great hall, not a mini. Okay. The 
tiny gray hall. We're not, we're, we're not, we're not driving Mini Cooper out here, all right? Remember that. Don't you drive the Mini Cooper around my yard. Get off my lawn, okay. All right, it looks like Gundad is gonna try to counter expand or he's gonna creep the three o'clock. The ghouls have frenzy, I can tell because of their speed. So uh, yeah, that was pretty, uh, no, he's not gonna creep the three o'clock. He's gonna go take map control. Maybe he knows that the three o'clock is rebuilt. I, I would suspect that the three o'clock is rebuilt. Or because I'm gonna try to lure the creeps out here and surround this ogre warlord, ogre lord. Let's see if he sees the like, undead army coming. He does. He saw the entire thing coming. So is he? Let's see if he's gonna go after the ogre lord. Oh, the undead is gonna get him. Undead is gonna creep jack him. Don't know what's gonna happen. Where are the bat riders? They're hiding behind the trees. And here's the. Uh, oh god. Here's a f level three armor and here's a level three armor and uh, level two frost. Uh, Level two frost armor. I'm sorry, level one frost armor, but it was canceled, and the score score protection got spelled as well. And let's see, if the, yeah, Undead's gonna go back home. Yep, Undead's gonna go back home. He's gonna give the orchids a free expansion. Orchids gonna have so much money. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Undead's gonna TP, and he's gonna try to TP out here. Uh, Blame Master, don't even think about it. Don't even dream about it. Two frost armors in the air. Just make sure you don't escape. And let's see if the undead is gonna jog him for positions for the six o'clock so he can creep it. He did creep at twelve o'clock. Well under the Thunder Cam medallion. He sold it! No! He sold the Thunder Cam medallion! No! Oh Jesus, this is gonna be epic. Oh, Samakazi! Yo oh, no! Samakazi is sons of bitches! Oh. For the for the Empire of the Sun! No! Oh, Frost Worm gets coiled! Yes! Oh god, all those bite riders died and I don't think a single frost one was taken down, but what looks like one of them is going to be taken down. No, a coil is going to save it. And it looks like the frost worms are going to go after the shadow hunter. Blade Master popped the potion yeah. of vulnerability, not going to be long though. I think that frost one is going to die here. Yep, there, there it goes, but the second, third frost one is going to be out. And now I don't know what the what the orc is gonna do. He needs to tag on a third a third beastery. Yes, I said a third beastery because he's on two bases, and the undead air yeah. army is rocking his front door. Uh, back rider, back there down goes the destroyer. But and orc needs to buy time. To enough bite riders, can, enough bite riders can come out. Yeah. If enough bite rider, you got dive in because the DK cannot have enough. Uh, just a bundle of mana to heal every single one of these boss ones. Eventually, they're gonna, he's gonna run out of mana. Yeah, like that, right there. DK ran out of mana. So the next bite rider come out of the come out of the beast is gonna kill it. But it looks like the shadow hunter is yeah. gonna buy the dust first, and the play master is gonna pick off that frost form. I don't see any. Fr oh, there's one more making, but the bite rider is absolutely worthless now. Um, oh, I'm sorry. There's another frost form. It was text. I didn't see that. And the bite riders are gonna gather in big numbers, and is he gonna go after the frost worm? That's where you had to babysit the frost worm there, because uh, that's your only saving grace. You have two heroes and a skeleton and a frost worm to knock out the orc's door. Orc is gonna have a big army here soon. And after seeing these two beast trays, you have to suspect their orc has the expansion going. He's gonna try to deny the shadow hunter, and I don't think freezing breath is researched ever. I don't think pros researching freezing breath. Ah, oh, god. Yeah. God, Frostworm is gonna go down. Playmaster hits level five, but the undead is absolutely out of out of troops. Is he gonna go attack switch to ghouls? Uh, there's a, four ghouls in the back of his base, but he's not making Frostworms anymore. He's gonna start making ghouls. This is gonna be attack switch to ghouls. Uh, how do I know that? I didn't watch the replay, but uh, it's pretty common to switch air to ground just to keep Orc off guard because Orc is going to continue to make false ones. Oh, I'm sorry, he's going to switch to the Raiders, and the Raiders are going to do some snaring, but Raiders do pretty bad against ghouls, especially with, uh, uh, with uh, even food count. Say you have 20 food worth of Raiders versus 20 food worth of, uh, worth of ghouls, the ghouls are one every time, uh, unless the Raiders do some creative. Uh, Creative uh, staring and uh, back off, back and offing. <laughs> I'm starting making words. I'm, I'm making up words as I go. Here comes the ghouls, and they can be individually micro'd away to back the lumber if they're ever hurt too much, too too hard. But the un undead needs to, has to know about this now. Um, I don't know what he's what is he going what he can do about it. Get some me wagons and start sieging up. But that's going to be me wagons are going to be the blade masters' um, dead meat. Uh, no pun intended. They're gonna be so so dead versus the playmaster. That's why you, nobody gets siege versus orcs. Not even 
Yeah, no orc, no orc. Nobody gets siege versus orc because of one reason that playmaster. Oh well, if if orc pick up frost here, then all, all hands are all better off. But it looks like the shadow horns are gonna die again. Is the playmaster gonna save him by popping the score of healing? No. Uh, play, uh, Shadow Hunter is gonna die again. Another level four hero died again, and now the uh, DK is about to be level five. That's when you see the frost worms never die because if you spend th like three uh, battle rounds diving to frost worms, and that's uh, yeah, the frost worms can just get healed like six hundred po hit points by one coil, and that's not <laughs> that's really not cost effective. Here comes the raiders. They're gonna go after the air army, and Staren backed off. Does this try to scare the frost worm or try to keep the frost worm on the ground because they're doing so too much work flying in the air? Uh, I, I really don't have anything to say about that. Anyway, here comes the orc army trying to snare the statue, the, and the orc knows the undead is better off in the statue. Here's Nova. Here's the frost worms. The mini mini lich is going to be in the air. Flying lich. Is that what they used to call the frost worms? And anyway, we're gonna see the statue is gonna get attacked, not a big deal. Looks like the White Wolf Burrow is gonna have to be repaired. Nice coil. Look at that frost worm, it never ever dies. Seven armor. If there's a frost uh, frost armor on that, frost worm is gonna be uh, even the th 10 armor. And uh, seven armor deflects 30%. I we're think 10 armor de deflects at 37 or something. Anyway, I can't do ex exponential math in my head. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Did this re re uh, despite the rumors that I can do front exponential math in my head, I cannot do that. Ru I know people think that I can do it, but I really can't. What's the what's two to the one point uh, seven two five? Can you do that in your head? No. Okay. I, I can't. Anyway, looks like the pearl is going to be t attacked, and it looks like the fourth one is going to have to be babysat. That's basically it's like another hero for you. Pretty much like torrents, uh, frost worms, you know, uh, uh, griffins, knights, and those, and even mountain giants, bears. Those are second. Those are level one heroes for you. You cannot lose them. Uh, well, you don't want to lose any units, period. But you absolutely, if you got a choice, you have to heal them over any other any other units like destroyers or ghouls. It looks like that frog is going to be targeted by that burrow, but uh, is he going to research in Freezing Breath? Because the, uh, the orc is holding up pretty tight up back here. Um, freezing Breath is actually doing pretty good at this situation, but I don't think I'm going to want to go over. Yeah, he's at over 50 food, and he doesn't have enough money. What was that? Something, something just finished. Some research just finished. Is that Freezing Breath? Uh, attack a building. Uh, no, it's not. Okay. So Orcus looks like he's gonna lose his entire main, the entire acolyte line is being brought over. Uh, yeah, everybody ran out of money. No more burrows. You gotta rebuild your all your burrows, buddy. And he, I think he lost. He throw down his beast raid right before he knows he's gonna lose the, the tier two tech. I really like that. I'm sorry, tier three tech. I really like that because uh, in the base trade situation, you want to preserve your tech as much as you can, especially when you're about to lose your main. You know you can't do certain things if you lose your uh, tier. You lose your tear attack, so you have to do as much as you can uh, uh, back uh, doing then. Wait, I'm not even talking English anymore. Anyway, back to the fight. Destroyer is gonna be focused down right away. So gonna coil. Nope. And it looks like Shadow Hunter is gonna focus down again. Looks like Shadow Hunter is gonna get away, but uh, I don't think I'm gonna win this fight because the tower is just doing way too much damage. Look at this. One Frost Woman is gonna get healed. In the meantime, the ghouls are gonna be repelled. Frost armor, uh, frost armor on the. Fr oh, okay, never mind. The lich doesn't want to waste his. Doesn't want to waste his uh, mana on the frost armor. Oh, the acolytes! No. Oh God. So the orc is gonna prevail here, I think. Or uh, yeah, he can just rebuild some peasants, peons, and to repopulate this base just to get the one k gold out of there at least. And then he's gonna heal. Acolytes are gonna go back home, sell some buildings. So let's see what he can sell. He can sell one ziggurat, the graveyard, if he doesn't want to make any fiends. This definitely, you gotta absolutely sell the sacrificial pit. Uh, or at least convert one one of your acolyte to shade and then sell it, or you don't have to sell it at all. I'm sorry, you don't have to convert any one at all. Let's see if he, what is he gonna sell. In the meantime, this is gonna be a pretty, pretty big engagement there. Cutting a little close on the lich, but still fine. 
And the Aklat's still not moving. I think Hasu Ops is focusing over here. He's not even looking at the back of the base. There's no reason for him to do it, to look at the back of his base. He has absolutely no money left. Let's see. He's going to sell the slaughterhouse, the Sonic Real Pit, definitely. He's going to sell the altar. So he's going to sell the crypt. He's going to make more ghouls. He's going to sell the uh, ziggurats. A couple. Yep. He's going to give him some money. Let's see if he's going to give them. Let's see if he's going to give him enough money to get the. To get the freezing breath upgrade, or he's gonna get a second frost worm. He d now he has no money for a second frost worm. Let's see if he can get it. We're gonna have to keep an eye on this boneyard. Meanwhile, oh god, one riders needs to be careful. They cost so much. He's not making frost worms. Oh, he, he's still. I think he's still four gold short. No, uh, three seventy-five for frost worms. So he's fourteen gold short. He needs to sell something else. <laughs> He's going to have to sell the graveyard. Do you need graveyard? No, you don't need graveyard to make frost worms. You can sell the graveyard. You get all the upgrades out of there anyway. Uh, wait, what? he just made a ghoul. Okay. He's going to re replenish his ghoul army. Meanwhile, he's going to try to position, try to cancel some burrows, just to make sure Orc doesn't... Uh, just to make sure the orc doesn't um, get enough big, get a big army by denying the food. Google's gonna continue to be streamed out. He just made something. Freezing breath! Yes! So he is gonna do the freezing breath upgrade. But the thing is, you only have one frost worm. That's the only freezing breath you can have. Oh, Jesus. That's the only freezing breath you can have. Uh, you can get out of, uh, out of that unit. Out of the entire army, one unit can cast freezing breath. Uh, freezing Breath's research is pretty fast. I don't know if you guys know that. I think it's the 20 seconds or 30 seconds or something like that. And Freezing Breath is going to be online here. Why do I know that? Someone tell me why do I know how long Freezing Breath upgrades. That, that, I'm really ashamed that I know that. I'm a, I'm a biggest nerd on, in this, uh, if you, on YouTube, I guess. Holy crap. If you know how long upgrade, the Freezing Breath takes an upgrade, then you, you know a nerd when you know how long Freezing Breath takes an upgrade. On a 10 year old game. Yep, looks like Lich is gonna run out of frost armor. He's gonna continue to kill peons. I don't really don't know if uh, he's gonna get level 5 by just killing peons and re repairing this shop. Play Master, here's a freezing breath. Yes, he's re gonna reveal it. Uh, okay, he's gonna go. Oh, god, god. The Raiders gonna get focused down. The ghouls are doing so much damage. Oh, god. And Lich is gonna heal. Looks like that. Uh, Destroyer is going to get the Hex out of the Frost Worm. Let's see if the Frost Worm is going to get focused down. There's a TP. Shadowhunter is in trouble. He's in the TPs. Claymaster is going to TP with him and the entire rest of the Orc Army. And nice and snare just to snare that Frost Worm, frost worm over there. He's in the range of the towers. And is he going to get... Oh, Frost Armor. Oh, <coughs> shit. <laughs> microphone fell off the desk. Um, Frost Worm frost is still there, and not done anymore, another coil, no, Frost Worm, yeah, that's game. That's the, uh, the, uh, the entire game hands on the survival of one Frost Worm, one unit. That's, that's the beauty of Warcraft, it's not like Starcraft either. Well, I guess Mothership can, can do something, but that's as close as it gets. Hasselhoff's uh, GG, so the series is tied to 1-1. I'll see you guys in game three.